So now let's talk about resolution. Uh, so when we, uh, I think it's a, it's a pretty familiar term. So when we buy cell phones and when we're talking about the cameras and we always talk about resolution. So we know that nowadays the cell phones have high resolution cameras. Uh, um, so actually resolution that we're talking about about cameras is is actually just one type of the resolution. So that is called the spatial resolution. So we want high spatial resolution cameras because when we take photos, we can see a very clear, a more clear objects. So that is actually just one type of resolution and that is called spatial resolution. So spatial resolution basically is mean that the ability that the sensor can tell okay so how small the object can be so if the sensor can tell uh, very very small objects then the spatial resolution will be very very high so that means okay so you can tell a very tiny um, stuff uh, if the sensor can only tell big um, objects so cannot tell the um, small objects then we t we say that the sensor has low spatial resolution okay uh, so here those are some e uh, examples we can see that for the same start area so if the sensor can tell the difference um, between so the, the the object that as long as the object is above 0.5 meter okay that is a super high spatial resolution i mean for the camera for the satellite images you can tell okay so the detail a lot of detail the house um the link etc uh, if you look at the this one so on this one the sensor can only tell the object that is bigger than 80 meters okay uh, so that is bigger than 80 meters and on this image okay you cannot tell anything okay so you lose a lot of details of, uh, of the objects so that is a one of the most important features of resolution that is spatial resolution so basically if you have high spatial resolution you can see a huge details uh, if you have low spatial resolution uh, you you will have you can see less details okay so you can see as long as the resolution uh, decrease, you will lose a lot of the details. Okay. Um, however, images with high resolutions, the size will become bigger. So we, we all have this feeling that, so when we have nowadays, now we have the new cell phones that they have high spatial resolution cameras. When they take, when we take photos, the photo will be bigger and bigger because uh, it will contain more and more information of the objects. Okay, uh, so the the images that with high resolutions will become bigger, uh, and also the the spatial resolution we normally measured as the pixel size. Okay, so that means that the size of the pixel is not the size on your computer on your screen that the size we're talking about uh, how bigger uh, the size represent on the ground okay so in this case you can see the pixel size normally we call it 40 meters so that means that one pixel represent uh, in terms of length 40 meters on the ground and for this image the pixel size will be 80 meters you can see that is uh, four times bigger as this one okay so that means that the pixel represent the length in terms of length represent 80 meters on the ground and this pixel size will be 20 meter and this pixel size will be 10 meter and this pixel size will be 0.5 meters okay so those spatial resolution normally also are measured as pixel size so if you see this and set out the image that the pixel size is 10 kilometer. Okay, so that means okay, uh, one pixel represent 10 kilometer length on the ground. Okay, so that is spatial resolution. 
and that will have lower resolution if another um, satellite image, the pixel size is one kilometer. So that will have high resolution than this one. OK, so that is the first one that is called spatial resolution. Actually, there are also uh, some other type of the resolutions. The second one is called spectral resolution. OK, spectral resolution. So that means that in terms, uh, in addition to the size, OK, remember that we are reflecting um, the, we are capturing the reflections in different wavelengths. So if one sensor can tell the difference between, OK, this uh, wavelength difference and this, uh, this band, so the sensor can tell the difference, okay, so that is the, in this band and also different and also in this band, okay? So that is spectral resolution. So in this case, the sensor will have relatively low spectral res resolution. If we compare another sensor that can tell the tiny difference in this bandwidth and also in this bandwidth and also in this wavelength bandwidth, okay? So if a sensor can tell the tiny difference in shorter range of the wavelengths and that sensor will have high spectral resolution and uh, if the sensor can only tell like uh, relative broad the difference in the relatively broad wavelengths and then that sensor will have lower spectral resolution Okay, and normally if you can tell tiny difference in short wavelength band, you will have more bands, you will have the more number of bands. Okay, so, so for example, in red band, you will have multiple bands, uh, but for lower spectral resolutions, you may have just one band in the red band because you cannot tell the difference. Okay. Uh, so here is an example. So uh, for for the sensor that can generate hyper spectral, so that means you can tell very tiny difference. You can tell tiny, tiny difference in very short range of the wavelengths. Or if you have a lower spectral resolutions and you can just tell the difference in this band between among this band and also this band. OK, so that really depending on the uh, the range, so in what extent you can tell the difference in different uh, wavelengths range. So that is the spectral resolution. The third one is temporal resolution. So that means that how frequent the sensor can revisit uh, the same place. Okay, we know that um, on the Earth, and we have satellite images that are flying through the Earth. So for the same place, so that how long do you need to revisit the same place? OK, so that is a temporal resolution. So if you can revisit the same place within one day, OK, and you will have normally have high temporal resolution. If you can revisit the same place within one month, and you have moderate temporal resolution. You can, if you can revisit uh, the same place within one year, then you have very low spatial or temporal resolution. Okay, so relatively uh, speaking. Okay, um, so here, those are some different satellite um, satellites. So those are very common satellite spot. You can see they can revisit revisit the same place almost uh, uh, four weeks. Landsat is a very commonly used satellite images. And for the Landsat satellites, they can revisit the same place about two weeks. And for this one, GOES satellite, they can revisit the same place in half hour. So that has very, very high temporal resolution. Okay. Um, and the last resolution is called radiometric resolution. So that is basically that 
how sensitive the sensor can be to the signal strength or to the or to the brightness for the for the same wavelengths. Okay. Um, so here we can see the difference. So uh, between a low radiometric resolution and also high radiometric resolution. So that means that for the same band, for the same spatial and also temporal resolution, for the same bandwidth, for the same wavelength band, you can see that this sensor can see the, the tiny difference in the different brightness. So that can give you more detail in terms of the brightness. And on this image, uh, so you can see probably one, two, three, three different sheets. So three different scales of the levels of the sheet so that you can t see um, a very broad uh, uh, resolution. So low resolution in the radiometric resolution. So normally it is measured by the byte. OK, all the all the signal strengths. So if you have high byte, so 10 byte, so that means that they can tell the brightness in terms in degree between zero and also 1000 and the 23. OK, so that means that you, you can they can tell for the same brightness. They can between zero on a scale between zero and also 1000. So that is a and that has a very high radiometric resolution. If you can tell the difference on the brightness on a scale between 0 and also 127, that is 7 byte, then that will have relatively low uh, radiometric uh, resolution. OK, so those are the four times of the resolutions, spatial, temporal, um, and also radiometric. OK, and the last one, <laughs> I forgot that. And also spectral, so spectral resolution. Okay. Uh, so now, hopefully, you will um, be more comfort uh, uh, to see this image, so that you can see the Landsat is launched by NASA. So uh, you can see the um, the history of the different uh, Landsat. So the Landsat one, the spatial resolution is 60 meters and it has four bands so normally it has three um, visible band and also one near infrared band okay so it has uh, four bands and you can see the Landsat 8 now it has 11 bands so which is launched in this year uh, it has 11 bands and also spatial resolution has increased um, that is 40 meters or uh, 15 me 15 meters uh, for the pen band and also 30 meters for the other bands okay and we can also say that there are some satellite images they have uh, less than one meter resolution so those are very high spatial resolution and also we see that some satellites they have a lot of bands for example this one has 16 bands okay so nowadays you can see the the general trend is the, the general trend is that uh, we have high spatial resolution we have more bands uh, and also we have high radiometric resolution uh, for the temporal resolution that is really based on uh, the purpose of the satellite so we can have very high a temporal resolution or we can have very low temporal resolution 